What's up guys? It's Chase with Awesome RT and we are outside and it's like 150% humidity today and I'm already dripping just getting the car up on the stands. So this is where we're at backyard here. Got the car up on the ramps and then some jack stands because we're installing today. All right, so the car's up on the jack stands next to my funny old old beater here uh, but this is where we're selling ZL1 front splitter side skirts and then I got the rears of course are back here just chilling on the trunk and then we got splitter rods for the front too so so you gotta jack when you jack up the car the back it doesn't really matter because everything just stops you know right right here so you can use ramps for that and then back here, you'll just be right up under here, so no big deal. But for the front, you're going to have to put it, your jack stands, on the frame. Because you got to get to be able to get to this pinch weld. Because uh, that's, that's how these splitters mount. So, these little things are going to slide up on the pinch weld and you just tighten them down. So, this should be a really easy install. Front will be a little more complicated. Hopefully, I got the right size washers. They, uh... They did not send me my washers. They sent me the everything else, but the washers were missing. So I emailed them, Facebook messengered them, and Instagram messaged them and got zero response. So I was kind of disappointed in the customer service this time around. Um, so I just went and got some washers. Hopefully they're big enough as far as giving it a little bit of space because on the splitter, you're gonna have push pins up under here somewhere. So it's got to have a little space so hopefully that's enough if not i've got some rubber washers that i'll just add to it if needed but let's get this going all right so we're gonna start with the side skirts uh install um like i said this the side skirt should be pretty easy um basically you got you know these little brackets that you push through here and then put this little um bolt in and so these slide on the pinch weld and then you just tighten this down to to hold it in place um might use some loctite i don't know that they don't say to use loctite on these but maybe i'll just do it and then check it in a week and then see if they're loose or not and if any of them are loose i'll put some loctite on there but you'll start with this front one so this is the passenger side um and you'll start with this front one and it does have a gap here and that's on purpose it's so that they can because like i had these on my charger and during the summer they would warp because before you just you held it up there you drilled holes and then you put it in there with rivets so there was no room for the plastic to expand and contract so it would cause waves in the in the side skirt which was not awesome I took it down and redid it and tried to like get it as like tight and I did it during the summer and it's still there was like one spot that would still would want to do it where I guess I didn't have enough tension or something but uh, these will have some room to expand so that's good uh, but basically I'll start it up front and I'm you know you push it all the way up I'm gonna butt it right up against this and I'm starting with these that way I can kind of just see how far they stick out before I do the rears because I don't, the rear one if you look you know you, these you're actually gonna you know drill into your into your uh uh bumper your balance or whatever but i want to see how far up front it's on the mud on the rock guard because i don't i want to make them i'm ocd so i want them to match you know which the pictures it showed on their website was kind of like this so it was like right up against it which would be nice but the front doesn't do that. I don't think it doesn't stick out quite as far. I think it's a little more inset. So we'll see. Uh, it's getting hot. I'm gonna ooh, set that down there. All right. So we're gonna start on the passenger side. Get this side done first, and then we'll get to the driver's side. And then I think I'll do the front splitter last, just because it'll take the longest. Let's do it. All right. So. Like I said, these things are going to slide right under the pinch welds. This is a 1 8 Allen. So these are, I bought these for my motorcycle. I'm just going to use these instead of a drill. I don't want to strip them out or anything, but 
basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up under here and the first one goes right here <coughs> but so you know your pinch welds hopefully are not all messed up mine's got a little gap right there but um basically just pull this out a little bit and you'll slide this right up in there and then tighten it down now one guy i did notice <laughs> these are very bright um so i think before i install it someone run upstairs grab some black vinyl and just stick that on there that way you can't see because this one you know where you've got this little dip right here you'll be able to see that and i'm not gonna like that so i'm gonna go grab that vinyl real quick put that on there and then we'll get this put up now let's just take a little bit of black vinyl and then we're gonna just put it on right here There we go. So now you won't be able to see the bright, shiny aluminum. That would be much better, I think. Yeah, that'd be right. Yeah. Kind of didn't get it down in the bottom very good. But... Oh well, we'll see. All right, so these all went in really easy, super easy install. Uh, the last one's kind of a bitch, because uh, it's so close to this stuff, I couldn't use my little tool. So I just had to get a uh, swivel neck there and use that to get in there and tighten it in. But the only thing I don't like is where that one mounts. It kind of makes it almost have a slant downward, but I guess that'll be fine. But there it is. I already put on there. I like it. All right, let's do the other side. All right, so got that one on. Easy. see over here in the sun but yeah looks pretty good I like it zero one add-ons okay so for the rear ones if we take a look can anybody see what's wrong in this picture or this video oh look it's for that looks like what would be for the uh, you know if you're using the holes as a guide this would be the passenger side because you use the holes underneath you know and then drill through so there's no holes on this side so really this is the passenger side which i mean this would be the driver's side but then the holes are on this side not this side <laughs> so basically it's gonna be two passenger side ones but fortunately like the front splitter and the side splitters the top and bottom has a completely different finish um like the top is like this which is what you see and then the bottom is actually shiny i guess it's so you could pick you know whether you want it to be gloss or this but the you know it's kind of unfortunate because i'd probably do the gloss if it was me i don't know uh this is the way they're supposed to be though with this, this finish um on top but so these don't have that option so obviously i did the this finish on top didn't have a choice um but so what i'm gonna do with this is these holes that they've drilled you know pre-drilled i'm just gonna go ahead and drill them all the way out on both um then you know that way i can see what I'm, where i'm putting this on the uh driver's side but all right let's drill these out and then we'll get up under the car and i'll show you guys how these how these go because they're a little different these actually have to screw in uh through these screw there's one two three four screw holes and then one bolt which replaces a push pin so we'll get to that here shortly all right so getting ready to do the rears but let me show you what i was talking about so like if you look at the front yeah let me get down here so the rock guard comes down you know which they make the rock you know, this is all zl ones rock guard in this and then this, like, this should have came to here. You know what I mean? Like, eh, eh. You know, so it comes down, you know, there's 
little, that much room before it hits this, you know. So that's, to me, this should have stuck out that that far and then tapered off, you know. But, you know, what are you gonna do? But if you look at the back now, so if we just like line it up, you know, and see, you know, that's about where it's gonna sit. I guess I could probably get that in there a little bit okay but when i originally yeah, held it up it was like right out here i was like that's not gonna work but if i can find a way to make it about like that then i guess it'll match the front so we'll see i'm gonna get it up here and try but basically there's one push pin right here what no because that's i don't know we're gonna see that is a that's what you're drilling into is right there i don't know if you guys can see that yeah that's where those screws are going it's right here, here, and here, and then in that push pin. So that's like wherever these are gonna go. I don't know. I might drill out new holes. Yeah, if that doesn't line up the way I want it to. So we will see how this goes. I'll fill you in once I figure it out. Okay, so I did use our holes, and I'll explain why here in a few minutes. But the easiest way to get this thing on here, because I'm doing it by myself. Um. I got the push pin first. Hand tighten this bolt. It's got a bolt or a bolt and then a washer and then a nut on the other side. So hand tighten that and then start with this third screw. Go ahead and screw it into the just the splitter. That way you can kind of because these are like right on this edge. It's kind of hard to see, but they're right on this edge. So you can kind of feel where. You know you need to screw in and then do these other two and then the last one's this one um now reason <sighs> hang on i'm gonna get my big butt up shoo we the reason i went on and did it with theirs even though it comes out to here you know like to this edge so i was looking at the back so if you look at the back it kind of you know it has this out like flare kind of so it feels like it's coming out so I just decided to go ahead and go with it. I did try to move it in a little bit and look at it and you know it looked okay, but then it started wanting to not be straight. So I went ahead and just used the screw holes that they provided. Um, this is kind of getting on my nerves already, OCD. You know, so maybe a small little L bracket or something to keep that hugged up against there. And then I think I'm gonna put in one more screw at the bottom. I don't know if that'll help much because of that gap, but you know, you can't see it from when you're looking at the car, but I don't think you can do anything about it because of this flare, but you know, just me being OCD. But overall, it looks pretty good. I like it. Just wish that front end would stick out that far. That would be ideal. All right, let's get the other side done. So we're on the passenger driver's side now. So I've got this, you know, in hand tightened and I put in the third screw and then see what you can do is just swing it over until it hits. And then you'll want to just come over just a hair to get it right on that plastic. And that's how you get it to line it. Okay, so this side, what I did this time, still the same thing, put in the bolt, did the last third screw first. And then I went ahead and did the other two, and this one, the last one, what I did is I pushed it in and I kind of pushed this over a little bit to kind of push all of the plastic over. So that way it kind of lines up a little bit better and actually it's pretty closer to this side. So I came over to this side and did the same thing. I uh, did this last, maybe went a little too far with this one, but push it in just a little bit so it kind of comes down, you know, flows a little bit better in my opinion, so. All right. Onto the front. That's all we got left now. So the sides are on. So now we got to do is front splitter and the rods. So basically, for this one, you'll get up under the car. Um, I'm gonna. It says you don't have to take off the belly pans because you can just pull those little plugs out. I can show you when I get up under there. Um, but we'll see. Um, I got pretty small hands, so if I can't get it, my hands up in there to do those little holes and I'll have to take off that belly pan which is a bunch of push pins and a couple bolts but let's see 
<sighs> Good Lord. At least it's got a little bit of clouds now, so uh, not as hot. All right, so let me flip this around here real quick. All right, front splitter is on. Um, so my dilemma was I didn't want to jack the car. I should have just jacked the car up a little bit higher. It probably been easier. But the ramps are okay, but with the wide body and the, just even the stock, you know, stock splitter there, uh, it was kind of hard with those Rhino ramps. So I'm probably going to look into those other ones. I can't remember what they're called, speed ramps or something. They're a little more low profile and longer. So you can get under there with your lowered car and get them up on the ramps. But I wedged my big butt up under this thing here. You didn't have to go too far. So I'm going to go in here and look, show you. So what we did was I already had, so funny story. They didn't send me any washers. And in the video from years ago, it, there was washers. Uh, so I didn't, I went and bought my own washers. Uh, twice actually, because the first ones I bought were too big. Uh, so I got some other washers. But then with the bolt, the washer and the retaining clip, the little plastic retaining clip, uh, to with the retaining clip just basically holds these in so they're not falling down while you're trying to like bolt them on. But with all three on there, or the, you know, the washer and the retaining clip, there was almost not enough bolts, like the bolt was too short. So I ended up taking all the washers off, just left the retaining clips on all of them and just pushed it up in there as far as I could. Um, I tried to start with the middle one like they suggested to get it up in there. I was having a hard time getting that one threaded just because it was so far away. I did just go through these holes. I did not take off the belly pan. Um, these are real easy. You just push them up and then pull them out. Yeah, it's pretty easy to get in and out. Uh, well, we'll see about in, but put, pulled all them out, but I was having a hard time where it was, it's in the middle of those two. So I did this one and the opposite side one first because it was right here so I could get to it. Once I had those two in, I did the middle one and then just came across. These two actually were kind of hard because I did the other side first, so I had to kind of push you know, the splitter back to get to the bolt hole. And if you notice, there's an open hole right here and that's because I cannot reach that hole with my, through this hole. So uh, eventually I'm gonna take the whole bump front bumper off and do uh, lighting in the grill. Um, and you know, probably halos and my DRL tubes, but uh, I'll put that in whenever I do that. So, and it's, you know, it's solid, not going nowhere. So I'm not really stressing that one bolt right at this moment. Um, so now all we gotta do is drill a hole, <laughs> which is nerve wracking, but uh, I got the splitter rods with it. So I'm gonna put, I'm thinking here, cause so basically what you'll do for this is there's these uh, bolts right here, these little uh, star key actually bolts, which is kind of weird. But you'll take one of those out so you'll decide where you want the splitter rod um i've kind of already thought about it a little bit Ooh, what that is janky look at that gap I'm like huh i don't know if you can see that real good but anyway uh so i thought about it a lot uh already and i kind of want it to i think i'm gonna I'm go in this one because it's pretty close so it'd be like you know that like just a slight angle you know outward because my options are you know you're here to here which is, would be kind of gross uh this one's probably the best and after that you got these two in the middle which i got there you know that would be kind of too long anyway so that's that's gonna be the one so it's the center one here and then i'm just gonna find a spot here and drill a hole and then put all the stuff in so I might see if I can prop this up for this part so you guys can see it while I'm doing it, but if not, I'll show you the end result. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda go over this before I do it, uh, just for my, my sake and for you guys. Uh, so it comes with all of the, you know, when you get these, it's got all the vehicles or Dodge Charger and Challenger because all of the vehicles are going to drill. Um, so like you'll see here, like non-Mopar, upper hardware is different than the Mopar. So um, basically what, what these do, like I said, they go into the, screw holes that you already have for the grill. Now you don't have to use that. You could, you could drill a new hole if you want, if your placement was not where you wanted it. Um, you know, so you could just follow this side if you wanted to. Uh, I am not going to do that. 
but so we're gonna go with this Mopar upper hardware overview. So basically you take off, you know, and you take this little uh, Allen out and then there's a long black screw, which is this one, which is gonna go into the hole on the bumper that you take out. Um, and that is a also a star key a torx actually yeah um so then uh you'll that's all you'll have for the top and then the bottom is pretty simple it's just literally it's a another one of these i ordered the that's kind of loose yeah, i might tighten them up are they all loose no just that one okay so check that when you get it i did not do that i'm gonna tighten that one up but anyways, these splitter guards, uh, so it comes, the uh, splitter rods come with a splitter guard. Um, you know, just to, oh, there's already one under there, so I'm just, maybe I'll move that one, because that's where I'm going to put that. Interesting. Huh. Well, that works. Okay, so I'll move, you know, I'll have an extra one now, so I'll just move it somewhere else. But basically, this bolt... Uh, Alan also will go through the splitter guard. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Like so. And then that will go into the bottom of this one. Yeah, I think you don't need the washer in this case. Yeah, it's just that. So, so then that's it. You'll screw that in. You screw it in into the splitter rod. And then up here will be the other part. And yeah, it's going to look something like that. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> let's do this um so all this extra stuff like these two washers and this bolt that bolt and these two little i don't know spacer things don't need loctite uh you do need because you need to like it says up here once you put that allen back in the top which i don't know why you don't put it in the bottom i guess because you never take it out i'll probably put some in the bottom too um put some loctite in there that way that doesn't work its way out and fall off all right, let's install it. I guess what I'll do first is take out this bottom because that's, that's where I'm gonna put it and drill that hole all the way through um, the top. All right, let's do it. All right, so I uh, pulled out the stock, or you know, not because I ordered these with it. I paid the extra money to have the splitter guards on there. And these are different than what comes with the uh, splitter rods because these have a smaller Hole. I realized that once I got it mixed up, but because the uh, the ones that came with the splitter rods are bigger. But so I drilled out this hole, not quite big enough, obviously, but that's fine. I'm, I'll drill it in there in a minute. Um, but I, I basically just used the the hole that they had already pre-drilled, you know, put in the splitter guards on as my reference, so they're the same. So that's good. Um, got this out and took this off. Now one side already had Loctite, so check that before you start pulling it apart. Um, so I don't have to put any Loctite on this side because it's already got it. Um, so I took this side apart by pulling out the uh, Allen bolt. And then now what you'll do is that's the stock screw. You'll take this other one here and it goes down inside of this. So hard to do with one hand. And then basically that will go up into this spot now. And then you just kind of angle it towards, you know, the hole. Um, all right. Can't do it with one hand, so I'm going to do that. All right. So drilled the hole out a little bit bigger. Um, and then so I took this one out. And so I didn't have a bit long enough because that's a, a Torx or whatever. I didn't have a bit long enough to get in there inside of the, the piece. You know, because there's a thing, so I had to just kind of jank it with an Allen wrench, a little uh, 332nd Allen wrench to get that up in there. Um, I still don't like that. That is crazy to me. It just bowing down like that. That is nuts. I guess you don't really see it, but whatever. Um, yeah, so then put the splitter guard on and put that in. And then just to adjust these, you just twit, like the, loosen these. And you just twist these back and forth to... Uh, add some length to it that's what that side looks like i like it let's do the other side beat the rain all right so the uh 
I mean, it wasn't a terrible install. It was not bad. Um, you know, just laying on the ground and it'd be nice to have a lift. Uh, but overall, uh, I like it pretty well. I got a few complaints, you know, that's just me being OCD, but, um, overall it looks pretty good. Let's take a look at it. Focus. All right. So front splitter car's dirty, but you know, I'll get it clean and do some actual good photos. Splitter with the rods on. Like I said, I did not get the end ones in just because I couldn't reach them, but I will get those put in there. Let me back up a little bit. There we go. So it looks pretty good. I mean, the splitter rods are easy to install. This is my complaint about the front. I kind of wish that this went all the way back to here just because it's, I don't know. I feel like it could have went all the way back to here, you know, and that just would have made it more level. Quiet dogs, I'm recording a video. <laughs> but, uh, side skirts. You know, I already had the rock guards put on. Yeah, kind of hard to see in the video because they're so dark. They're clean, but the rest of the car is not. And then my other complaint is these. They stick out a little bit further, but I did get them mashed in. Not quite as far on this side as the other side, so I might redo this one later on, but not today. Now I need the diffuser for the back And then that'll be all I get down now. So let's see this side I wedged in there just a little bit more but Overall I'm pretty happy with how it turned out Looks good Yeah, it gives it some depth on this side just a little bit, you know kind of hard to see on the video, but We'll see maybe it'll turn out good Edits not bad I like it. All right, uh, that's it. That was a fun install. Uh, well, aren't all installs fun installs? But uh, yeah, ZL1 add-ons, full kit for the wide body. All right, until the next one, guys. I'm Jason, Boss Marti. Later.